Thousands of runners from all over Minnesota and the world are heading to Duluth this weekend. It is the 40th Grandma's Marathon. One of the people in Minnesota for the marathon is Olympic medalist Wilson Kipsong. The Kenyan runner won the bronze medal in the marathon of the 2012 London Olympics. He will be offering inspiration to runners in Duluth before the race. But first, Kipsong is in the Twin Cities with Warrior Edge Athletics to share his insight and tips into achieving your running goals. And we're very happy to have you, Wilson, on Mid Morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you. So tell everyone your story. How did you start running? I, I read and watched that you, you ran to school growing up as a kid. Yeah, first of all, I think uh, my career really started way back. It's like mm -hmm. maybe 20 years ago or 25 years ago. First of all, when I was going to school, you find that uh, much of my time was running. Mm -hmm. Maybe running yeah. to school. How long was back your run home. to school? Uh, it's uh, almost uh, 10 kilometers. Wow. Yeah, so I had to start late, like were, seven years. Were you always years. running late? Is that why you ran so <laughs> fast? Yeah, because uh, <laughs> you have to catch up with time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's always time for school. You have to be there by 8. Wow. Maybe at lunch time, you have to run back home, back again. <laughs> so you find that it was more challenging, especially when I was still young. Well, let's talk a little bit about your experience at the Olympics. As you were at London 2012, what was that like? Yeah, my experience was really very cool because at uh, that time, you find that it was my first time mm -hmm. to represent my country in an Olympics. And uh, London was really very cool because uh, I had won that year mm -hmm. in April, running a good time, a course record in uh, London Marathon. So. Mm -hmm. To the Olympics, you find that it was really so nice and uh, I was really very much prepared and uh, that the weather was so hot, <laughs> but... <laughs> you were ready for it. Yeah, 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 but I tried my best, but I find that uh, at long last, I was really very happy to have really got I a bronze. I can't even imagine yeah. what that feeling must be like to step on the podium. So you're here, you're going to be talking in St. Louis Park tonight about running your best race. Kylie is a racer. She oh. did a half marathon Not in Madison. Not quite like you, though. <laughs> <laughs> so what advice do you have for maybe the first time runner and the long time runner for running your best race? Yeah, I think uh, the most advice that I have is uh, you find that uh, for somebody like me who has really run mm -hmm. Olympics bronze, I've broken the world record in the marathon in the year 2013. So I think the best advice that we are going to really discuss on my today is uh, how to become mentally strong. Hmm. Mentally strong. Mentally what is strong. the one tip for mentally strong? Uh, one tip for one to be mentally strong is uh, in any event, in any race, you find that if you are very strong, positive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, you are, if your mind is very positive about uh, maybe a race and that you are really ready for it, you find that there's a high perform, there's a high chance of you performing the way you think. I love that. Yeah. I know, I, need, I, I definitely need to up the mental <laughs> game a little bit. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about you are giving the gift of shoes and your story is incredible because you said you ran to school and you didn't have shoes until you were eight years old? Yes, I think uh, this is something which you find that it's more it's contributing so much to many athletes and uh, mm. that can really assist uh, them to perform so well because I think uh, for me it took me time to really get even a pair of shoes until when I was eight years mm. or nine but you find that uh, when it comes to now training you find that you need a very good shoe for one to really train very well and get that good performance so you find that the most challenge that many Kenyans have is they don't have a shoe mm. maybe mm -hmm. they, they, they are using the, the wrong type of shoe and then you find that in their training career, many of them get injured mm -hmm. and they don't really realize their dreams. Yeah. So in Kenya, you find that most of the time, the little I have for many of the top athletes, you have to share what you have. If they use the shoe, try to assist it to an upcoming athlete that he or she can really get time to train injury free and then Run well, Fantastic. Wilson, it's great what you're doing. So uh, tonight, uh, running your best race, that's from 6 to 8 at Lifetime Fitness. You will be there, and it's at St. Louis Park. We have more information. Uh, the cost is $69, so you can head to WCCO.com slash links to pre-register. Thank you so much for coming in. I, I do have to ask, how fast was that fastest marathon? Uh, what was your time? My time was 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 23 seconds. Oh I, I want to point out that was faster than I ran my half marathon <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> Wilson, thank you so much. Have a fun you, weekend. Thank you. Thank you. This is a great time for thank this you, weekend. Thank you, thank you. And I know that a lot of runners are